Out of the last handful of marathon majors around the world, history has been made in almost every single one of them. There was Kipchoge in 2022, breaking his own world record in 2 hours, 1 minute, and 9 seconds. There was Kelvin Kiptum striking the hearts of London with his devastating time of 2 hours, 1 minute, and 25 seconds. And then to top off his undefeated 2023 marathon season in this year's Chicago Marathon, Kiptum again did the impossible, this time taking down Kipchoge's world record in 2 hours and 35 seconds seconds, a time frame that has never been achieved by any other athlete in history. The top of the marathon game right now is reaching an all-time high, and whether it's the shoes or just the incredible competition, it has been an insane previous few seasons. But it's not just Kiptum and Kipchoge who have impressed as of recent. We also must include Tamarat Tola from Ethiopia, this year's winner of the New York City Marathon. And what he just did is honestly one of the greatest and most underrated marathon achievements that I have ever witnessed. Now, if you don't already know, no. Tola won this year's NYC Marathon with a time of 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 58 seconds, a time that took down the second-placed athlete by 1 minute and 59 seconds. This margin of victory almost never happens, especially when there are no pacers involved. In fact, this margin is the biggest gap that we have seen in New York since the year 2000, a truly historic feat for one of Ethiopia's finest runners. With a quick opening half marathon and an even faster second half, Tola Negative split this race like a true champion to win the grand prize of $100,000. Not a bad day at the office for just over two hours of running. With a win like this and a new course record, Tola really showcased some amazing abilities in the Big Apple. But ladies and gentlemen, we actually missed some crucial details about this race that make Tola's performance one of the greatest to ever occur in road running history. Here's an elevation map of the Chicago Marathon, which like a few other marathons, Marathon majors is known to be super flat and a pretty fast course. This is the site of Kelvin Kiptum's marathon world record from this year. You know, the one where he ran a time of 2 hours and 35 seconds to take down Kipchoge's time. And here is the New York City Marathon elevation map, where Tamarat Tola just broke the course record. You'd think that given the massive disparity between the two, Tola was practically nowhere near his counterpart, Kelvin Kiptum, for practically the entire race. Well, if you thought this, you would actually be quite wrong. In fact, you'd be incredibly wrong. Here are Tamarat Tola's 5km splits throughout this year's New York City Marathon. As you can see, his first and final 5k splits were in fact the slowest on this day. And this does make sense, given the challenging hills he had to face for much of the stretch. And here is Kelvin Kiptum's marathon splits, marked by insane late racing accelerations and another historic negative split. From 10km through the 30km mark, these numbers from Kelvin Kiptum are almost undeniable that he ran the single single fastest 20 kilometer split ever during the stage. But then you realize that Tamarat Tola was actually three seconds faster than Kelvin Kiptum during this 20 kilometer stretch. With a 20 kilometer stretch of 57 minutes and 46 seconds, Tamarat Tola averaged four minutes and 38 seconds during this 20K march, which also represents a pace of two minutes and 53 seconds per kilometer. This is absolutely unbelievable. In what seems to be an almost impossible 20K stretch, Tola unleashed a furious rampage of acceleration, and he even managed to outrun the world record holder, Kelvin Kiptum, during this moment. Now, I do want to point out the obvious. There are certain stages of the New York City Marathon that do include downhill running, which can certainly open the door to better speeds than running on flats or especially uphills. But I also want to point out that there are various massive uphill moments as well, where Chicago mostly deals with even terrain throughout the race. To get more detailed here, from mile 8 up to mile 12, which is around the 12.8 kilometer mark of to kilometer 19, Tola ran mile splits of 440, followed by a 430, a 437, a 448, and then a 4 minute and 35 second mile. For this 5 mile stretch, Tola achieved a time of 23 minutes and 10 seconds, which was one of the fastest stages of this race. And while there were a few downhills here, there was also a pretty significant uphill moment, starting at mile 8 to around the 8.5 mile mark. This would slow down almost any athlete on this day, but somehow, Tola ran this 5 mile stretch like he was on the track. This was certainly a very impressive 5 mile split, but what has to be the single greatest acceleration and the single greatest speed he achieved during this race was from mile 17 up to mile 19. For this 3 mile split, Tola threw down the hammer, achieving times of 4 minutes and 28 seconds, 4 minutes and 46 seconds, and then a 4 minute and 26 second mile, the single fastest mile split on the day. For this speedy mile, 
Tola was hitting speeds that equate to a 1 hour, 56 minute, and 30 second marathon. And even though it was slightly downhill, it was amazing to see this kind of speed go down during a 26.2 mile run. Now, it is one thing to do this kind of running on hilly terrain, and it's another thing to run consistently under 1440 for 5 kilometer splits during any marathon. But what I think is the single most impressive and important thing that we should all remember is that there were no pace setters during this marathon. In fact, Tola acted as the pacer for much of this race. If you watched either Kipchoge in 2022 in Berlin, or Kiptum in Chicago for this year's Chicago Marathon, you'll know that pace setters played a crucial role in allowing a quick time to ultimately go down. And at the end of the day, it certainly worked. These are still the two fastest times ever achieved in marathon history. But to run such speeds with no pace setters is just downright ridiculous. Throughout the entire history of the marathon, no New York performance has ever even gotten close to what happens during the world's fastest marathons. In fact, before Tola's new course record, the fastest time ever achieved in New York was from Jeffrey Mutai from 2011, and he ran a time of 2 hours, 5 minutes, and 6 seconds. And this performance was only ranked as the 188th fastest time in marathon history. To put it simply, athletes just don't come away from the New York City Marathon with a super fast time, but despite history pushing against Tamarat Tola, he still made it happen. Now, despite running super fast in the middle of this race, Tola did slow down pretty drastically over the final five kilometers, as he only achieved a time of 15 minutes and 17 seconds, which is more than one entire minute slower than Kelvin Kipton's final 5K in Chicago. But it is again important to mention that this final 5K stretch is mostly uphill, including this small but very significant final kilometer, which is mostly straight uphill to the finish line. After this race, Tola told the reporters that the course record was never really on his mind. He just wanted to win this race and execute his efforts on the day. And well, he certainly did that. In fact, I think you could argue that this was one of the best executed marathons over the previous few seasons. The landscape of the marathon continues to shift into faster and more impressive performances, and it is certainly making next year's Olympic marathon season much more exciting. And with this in mind, here's my final question to all of you. What do you think Tamarat Tola will do in the 2024 Olympic Games? Will he run a marathon just as impressive as this and challenge for a medal, or perhaps Perhaps will he move up one more echelon and challenge for a gold medal in Paris? Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.